Today we're gonna to be making a delicious bread maker banana bread, and it is good. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to mash up a cup of really ripe bananas. So all I'm doing is mashing this with a fork. It's really easy and you can tell these bananas were, you know, nice and ripe. <laughs> well, this is not quite a cup. I'm actually going to mash the other one. Actually, I'm going to, I was going to freeze my bananas, so I think I'll take a half and I'll mash it up and then I'm gonna freeze the other half into little pieces. All right, that's perfect. There you go. So we've got a cup of mashed bananas and I'm gonna take the rest of this banana and just kind of slice it up and I'm gonna freeze it with some of my other bananas. So this is a great way to save your extra bananas that are starting to get too ripe. You never have to throw them away. When they start to get ripe enough that you're not going to eat them right out of the skin, just go ahead and, you know, cut them up into pieces and kind of pull them apart a little so they'll freeze individually. And then when these are frozen, I just throw them in a Ziploc bag and I can use them for smoothies or ice cream or what have you. Waste not, want not. So this banana bread and the bread maker is gonna be so easy. You're gonna put it, uh, you're gonna set the settings for either a cake or a quick bread. And all we're gonna do is add the wet ingredients and then the dry ingredients. So I have my one cup of mashed bananas. I'm gonna go ahead and add those. I need to make sure my little paddles are all the way down. Sometimes they're not. Then I'm going to add my two beaten eggs. Then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna add eight tablespoons of softened butter. Now I've already softened this in the microwave and let it cool because I just, you know, I didn't want it to affect the eggs. So I'm adding that. Then I'm going to be adding my brown sugar. I have uh, one cup of packed brown sugar. I've got one teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. I've got a half a teaspoon of salt. I use pink Himalayan sea salt and two cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm just gonna put that right into the mixer. Well, it's not really a mixer, it's a bread mixer. So on my bread maker. I've set this for the cake setting. It's going to cook for two hours and all I'm going to do is hit start. Set it aside and the bread maker is going to do all the work. thought I'd just show you what's going on in my bread maker. The only thing I'm going to do is sometimes the flour will kind of stick to the sides of the pan. So I just take a spatula and just make sure it's not kind of caught up in those corners so it's a nice batter but this looks amazing bread bread makers working for me <laughs> so this is my banana bread it rose and it baked just absolutely perfect so i'm going to take it out and put it on a wire rack so as you can see this bread came out absolutely beautiful i'm going to cut a couple of pieces because I've got some very special guests today who are going to sample this delicious bread. So I am just going to cut a few pieces. I'm cutting it warm so that I can put a little bit of butter on it and the butter can melt. Oh, it looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Might need to get a spatula. I'm cutting it very early. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter on this bread because butter makes everything better as you can see and then I'm going to have my special guests give this a sampling for you so let's see what they think of it so I've got a couple little special guests here I've got my grandchildren they're going to sample the bread 
and tell you what they think of it. So there's a piece for you. There's a piece for you. Take a little bite and tell the audience what you think of your bread. From the mouth of babes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you heard it from the banana bread kings. The grandkids came over this morning and they enjoyed some nice warm banana bread with some butter on top. It was delicious. And the best part about it is you throw everything in the bread maker and it does all the work for you. So I am very happy with the way this came out. I was able to use up some ripe bananas and freeze a couple other ones for another recipe. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you coming along. If you have a bread maker and you'd like to give something like this a try, I hope you'll try it. It's, it's definitely a good one. And you saw how much it rose. It was really good. So have a great afternoon and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.